Welcome to Icons of Design. We're super stoked, it's crowded, we sold a ton of tickets, people are buying wonderful things they don't need, and this is my little section, so it's a family affair. Got my son Quinn and Nash and Jamie helping out. We haven't really officially launched it yet, but this is my new leather goods brand called J Ward Collection. So I'm doing flasks, doing a bag called the GTFO, great weekend bag. We have a crossbody, we have a Japanese vintage inspiration called a Randusiro, it's like a structured backpack. Then I have five different colorways of five different wallet designs. Then I've been stitching my brains out. So blankets dating from the turn of the century to contemporary and new. My wife takes these vintage military insulation jackets, uses Japanese thread and hand stitches them. I made a bunch of one-off leather jackets and campfire coats. And then that's just the tip of the iceberg. As you see, we have over 50 vendors here selling unique stuff made from the heart. So in this room alone, we've got electric bikes, we've got auto type t-shirts and home goods. We've got my friends from Good Art, masters of creative silver with an attitude, furniture makers, fabric arts, it's insane. Out here, look at this wildly diverse range of custom cars. So yes, I'm a little greedy. We shove most of the icons up in the front, but then as you go down here, you've got everything from a 37 Ford that hasn't been seen in about 20 years. The paint job, lacquer, 30 years old. Then we've got Ruffian, Zero Labs, Workshop 5001, Singer. Uh, it's just insanity. So if you didn't make it this year, you gotta come next year. The charity is gocampaign.org. The event is Icons of Design. Go Campaign is a nonprofit organization based in Southern California that supports local heroes and nonprofit organizations all over the world who are addressing the specific needs of children in those communities. We're kind of like a philanthropic investment firm. We pair small grassroots organizations with our incredible base of donors and community members like everybody here at Icons of Design and help make real tangible impact as fast as we possibly can for these incredible grassroots organizations that are giving children the opportunities that they deserve from East LA to East Africa. My name's Andrew and I'm with Vintage and we're here supporting the Go campaign and we build pretty much high performance works of art on wheels. So high performance electric bikes that are, you know, vintage inspired. Hi, this is Blackwell Woodworks. This is my husband's company. He makes uh, clocks handmade from guitar scraps. So he used to work for Tom Anderson and he would take the scraps and it started off with making a stand, a guitar stand, and then it just kind of continued into art, clocks, and he does custom inlay. Yeah, that's kind of it. Blackwell Woodworks. Simeona Leona, I'm Daniel, and uh, I mainly deal in textiles, and my husband deals in jewelry, pearls, uh, saltwater, koyas, tahitians, which he makes all himself. Um, and today we're mainly showing our um, piecework uh, from leftover and dead stock. Uh, fabrics. So throws, pillows, um, bags. Hi, so um, David here with 1933 Bar Group. We have a nice open bar for the Icon event tonight. All right, Stefan with Livewire. We're excited to be here at Haggerty. Uh, we've got beautiful products today. It's our Livewire S2 Del Mar, our newest bike that's in production right now. It's our flat track, street tracker inspired motorcycle. We've also got our kids' Stasic, which is our balanced bike that 
has a nice electric motor on that you can go for about an hour on. And then lastly, we've got our Livewire One, our flagship bike that's been around for a couple of years. So super excited to be here. I'm Gary, this is Infinite Machine. Uh, this is the new P1 um, prototype. And uh, yeah, this is the newest micro mobility moped out on the market right now. Uh, Mark Adams, Mark Adams Pictures. Uh, I'm out of Cleveland and out of Portland, and I'm just shooting uh, portraits here at the Go Campaign. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Jack Storms, and these are my Optic Cold Work sculptures. These are all created here in my studio here in Valencia, California. My name's Derek. I'm here at Autotype at the Icons of Design event. Um, we are a full service design studio. Um, that also celebrates individual designers and gives them an opportunity to make something that they wouldn't normally make, like the Icon Bronco chair. Um, these are uh, part with Jonathan Ward, um, inspired by Stephanie's Broncos, and this is something that we brought to life. This is also our collection of, um, of t-shirts that we make, uh, just minimal, inspired by Jonathan. Um, this is actually a really special one to me. This is uh, a, a real postcard from my that my father received after buying his first 911. Um, just really clean graphics um, that we uh, that we put together for the for the show. This is a, a limited piece celebrating the suburban um, that's sitting right around the corner. Um, that's about it. Hey, I'm Dave O'Brien with Bach and Stone, and I'm selling local California goods made from wood here in California. Hi, my name is Dan Glover. I'm with Labche Wines, and today I'm pouring a uh, Sauvignon Blanc, a Pinot Noir, and a red blend for people to enjoy and to support Go Campaign. Hi, I'm Kaylin Hertel from Kaylin Hertel Jewelry, just showcasing all this beautiful handmade 14 karat gold and 18 karat gold jewelry made here in Los Angeles. I'm Christian with William Henry. We're here uh, at the Icons of Design event, uh, showing off some of our beautiful uh, handcrafted knives, watches, and uh, other accessories. Happy to be here. I'm John McConico. I'm the founder and designer behind Bespoke Watch Projects out of Oakland, California. Happy to be here today. All my watches are hand-finished, engraved dials. Each one is unique. Uh, they all come from my studio. Everything you see here, I've actually created in the last four weeks. So I've been very busy. Uh, everything you see here is unique. All my pieces, I do custom made order pieces as well as ready-mades. Each one is hand finished, almost like a piece of art. Hi, uh, I'm Cullen from Notice Watches. We are designed and assembled in LA. Uh, everything, uh, automatic movements, uh, sapphire crystals, water resistance, uh, everything is meticulously hand assembled in our workshop in Los Angeles. Uh, we specialize in tool and sport watches and as you can see there's a wide range of colors, wide range of styles. Hi, I'm Julie Crossan and this is my design crossline. Um, I work with laser cut walnuts and I have it cut, stained and I assemble it all with the brass. Hi, we're La Matera. We make kind of Argentinian style belts and accessories and glad to be here in LA. So my name is Robin, I'm from Heat Ceramics and uh, we're down here at the Icon Show. We've been around for 75 years and we make everything in South Lido, California at our dinnerware factory up there. Hi, my name is Christian Daniel with Christian Daniel Boots and we're displaying some of these handcrafted, handmade boots from Leon, Mexico to San Diego for all of you guys. What's up beautiful people, it's Brian the Bootmaker. I'm here representing Row Club. I'm here we're making handmade boots made to measure in Los Angeles. Hey guys, I'm Kai. I'm from AMR, Artist Makers and Repairs. We're a custom chain stitch embroidery company and stoked to be here at Icon today. Thanks Jonathan and all the amazing creators. It's been a real pleasure to be here. Hi, I'm Christina Laxon McConico. My brand is Laxon Revelio and we do women's sustainable fashion. Everything is designed by me and made in Oakland, California. My name is Christy and this is my company. It's called Crash Jewelry. And what we do here at Crash Jewelry is we take uh, pieces of cars that are being repaired, like say a fender, door, hood, and uh, we upcycle it instead of throwing it away. So everything that you see is from the original factory paint from the car. We engrave the name of the car on the inside. And it also comes with a DMV registration card. 
and we have cars, BMW, Rolls Royce, Maserati, Porsche, Ferrari, uh, you name it, we've got them all. Hi, I'm Sarah and I run Tired Plants and uh, they are plants potted in used go-kart tires. David, I'm out here from Chileo and uh, yeah, we're excited to be here at Icon and we want to show you what we got in the booth. We've got the, uh, this is our Newcomb log tote. So it's a tote bag, but also turns into a log carrier. So you just zip this up, you unsnap, you're good to go. Aprons, we use a lot of dead stock and repurposed materials. So dead stock wax canvas, military straps, 1940s D-rings from duffels, our bandito poncho, keep you safe from the elements. Oop, just wasn't supposed to drop that. <laughs> And then uh, over here, we'd use uh, frog skin uh, watch straps. So this is from uh, the US's first attempt at doing camo. So yeah, we use a lot of interesting materials, repurposed stuff, dead stock. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm here with uh, Kaline Cordero. We handcraft all these beautiful leather goods, beautiful handbags, our studded belts, our unisex for men and women. Um, we have these gorgeous, our gorgeous notebooks our coasters for the home, really artisanal, all of our pillows for the home as well, keychains for your new hot rod. Hi, my name is Derek Smith, uh, brand is Scarf Brothers, and we're selling repaired vintage and reproduction from the 50s. Hi, um, I am here for Hero Women Rising, which is a nonprofit supporting just, just supporting women and empowering women in the Congo. One of their projects is to help disabled women. Um, so we have all these products here that were sewn by disabled women in the Congo. And note that the disabled women there are very much discriminated against. So we are trying to provide a sustainable living for them. So we buy these products and we sell them and 100% of what we sell goes back to these women in the pro Congo. We are one of those programs that has been supported in the past and we're very happy to be here and there's lots of other pro programs involved with Hero Women Rising and we thank everybody for their support. It really makes a difference. A small purchase makes a very big difference in someone's life in the Congo. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Jeff Deegan, and I'm here with my line, Jeff Deegan Designs, today at the Icon Show. And I do sterling buckles. Uh, the last 43 years, I've been making sterling buckles, jewelry, and accessories. Hi, so my name is Robert from Roughchild, and we build a, a custom BMW airhead. Our main business is putting a modern front end and real brakes on this thing. So I spend a lot of time developing engines. So we do a full mechanical drivetrain rebuild. Our bikes are putting out about 75 to 80 horsepower at the wheel. It's our bobber. This is our new freeway flyer. It's going to Texas. And this is a 1970 R75 that's been rebuilt with a stroker motor. We're on, what else do we have? There's so much going on on this bike, I can't even remember, but. Uh... Yeah, the main MO is the horsepower, suspension and brakes on a classic platform. All right, so my name's Daniel and I own the business Formalworks. We're displaying our key pieces, which are precision machined for pretty much all classic and vintage cars. How you doing? My name is Miguel. Um, company name is Silver King out of Chatsworth, California. And I'm displaying a lot of our handmade pieces uh, made from solid sterling silver, all fully hand engraved. Latest model, the Halcyon 450. Um, we make everything on these bikes from the fenders, the hand formed fenders, the chassis, the aluminum fuel tank, uh, exhaust system, you name it. Um, we do uh, bring in things like what, what I call our specialty components. So things like the engine, obviously brake system, instruments and lighting. Um, but uh, this is basically a completely handmade motor, modern production motorcycle. Um, we have a team of about 20 folks uh, building all these bikes, building, selling, marketing, and uh, maintaining them. So uh, 
Uh, if you want to learn more about Janus, visit our website, JanusMotorcycles.com, or our YouTube channel where we have a lot of videos documenting how everything's made and stories of what our owners do on them. So, thanks a lot. Welcome, I'm Matthew Hall. I flew out here from Little Rhode Island on the East Coast, and I like to make functional decor. What we have here are all bottle openers, ranging from large clamshells in various finishes. There's a, a dark bronze one, German silver, and a brushed silver finish. And I've sold out of the other finishes, but I have a smaller version in a, a light or dark brushed finish with a polished inside. I also make some anchor door pulls slash bottle openers, which hook right on. I've already drank that one though. Uh, we also have, what you don't see much of out here is horseshoe crabs. You can hang on the wall with a little hole. They also function as a nice bottle opener. Um, oh wait, I already showed you the anchor. I've got a few keychains molded from real items. Some ginkgo bilobas cast in bronze, German silver baby horseshoe crabs and some little starfish. There's a little tiny fishing buoy for like lobster fishing. And what else have we got? I use the lost wax casting method, which I would make my final masterpiece that I want to reproduce and then I make a vulcanized rubber mold over it like this one. Once that's all cured, I would pull out my piece, put the mold back together empty, and you inject liquid wax into it, which then hardens. Then you make a plaster mold over that and vacuum out all the air bubbles on a vibrating table. Hey, John. Don't let me interrupt. Party on. Um, let the wax cure overnight in an oven. Then you melt out the wax and you melt whichever metal alloy you'd like to use. Pour that into your plaster mold. Let it harden for a few minutes. Then you dunk the plaster mold in a bucket of cold water, which makes all the plaster explode outward, exposing your raw casting. Then there's the fun job of cleaning every single one up by hand every nook and cranny that you could get into, which finishing shops do not want to do. And then the intensive process of adding patina, and I play around with different patinas and temperatures to achieve all sorts of different finishing effects to make my life more complicated, but make things that I enjoy more. He probably failed to mention the love, the patience, and the vision to make it happen. And Matt nails it. His design language is so unique. His heart and souls and everything he makes, and that's why we love him. We actually met on Instagram. We did a barter together. Yes. I made him a wallet. He made me a belt buckle. And we've stayed buddies ever since. And I love I, you, man. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And that's much. what this event is about. When Jonathan Ward invites you, you cannot say no. All right, yeah, we're Paul Jays, and we're a loungewear streetwear brand out of L.A. Hey guys, George Esquivel here of Esquivel Designs. Jonathan, thanks for having us, uh, and we're showing our shoes and uh, accessories. Hi, I'm Rory. I own Goods and Services. We're a repair shop in the Arts District, and uh, we're here at the uh, Icon event, and we just have some of our product that we're showing. It's uh, mostly uh, shoes that we've made and sneakers that we've resold and rebuilt, and. Um, with uh, some promotional stuff, socks, t-shirts, and uh, yeah. So dude, I'm Tomo, I'm here with my brand, Compost. I got these brand new shirts that I just made. The spring shirts may flower spring from the essence of your bleeding heart, but a shallow interpretation. These have been flying, got three left. 
um, accented by some of the Boro Sashiko artwork I've been doing, so. Uh, some slight, you know what I mean? Hand done, hand finished. Some vintage moleskin. Over here we got the crown jewels. You got these places I've been pants. Completely Sashiko finished. Very nice, very tasteful. Accented with a couple, couple other Namis. Um, and some beautiful new bags I made. A lot of vintage Japanese indigo. Everything's reclaimed, recycled, and um, just honestly a vibe, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks for checking me out, love. Hi, my name is Alexis and my business is Hot Jam Preserves. I make handcrafted specialty, all organic, seasonal jams, preserves, syrups, shrubs, just highlighting what's beautiful about every season, fruit-wise and herbs and whatever other aromatics. And then I make a bunch of cookies, uh, just tons of flavors every time. Hey, my name is Jasmine and we create pancake art here. Our motto is, if you can imagine it, we can create it. So as long as you show us a pancake, we can turn it into an edible or, oops, hold on, let me redo that. <laughs> that was bad. Hey everybody, my name is Jasmine and this is Adam and we are creating edible pancake art here with Get Cake LA. Our motto is, if you can imagine it, we can create it. So as long as you have a picture or we can look one up, we will make anything for you as an edible pancake. We have menus here to give you ideas. Otherwise, everybody's favorites are pets. We make logos and even uh, faces sometimes. My name is Adam, I'm with Moonwood Coffee, and today we're serving you guys a delicious cup of joe. We're here with Go Campaign, we're selling pretzels, come get some pretzels. So, this is in the way. All right, I'm Josh, I'm from Keyport. Uh, we've been working with Icon for a long time. We make the Keyport slide, which uh, the, each of their vehicles comes with four or five different keys, and this makes it really easy um, for organizing the keys and we've also got all these different modules like a light um, we've got a knife uh, multi-tools and all kinds of stuff you can put in there um, but the slide is like the premium product so that's why icon um, uses it for all their different vehicles and then we've got the pivot which is a similar product but the keys rotate out and it's got the same modular connections so you can put everything from a, like the knife and the multi-tool and everything and we've got a bunch of different inserts and face plates uh, we're doing the go campaign face plate this year and then this is the icon that comes on each icon slide and we've got hundreds of others on our on mykeyport.com and that's it my name is spencer nicozzi and we're here with kill spencer we brought a series of our bags which are made in our atwater factory here in Los Angeles. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is Vivace Pizza. Uh, we, we were invited here to serve these beautiful people, some the best pizza in LA. Check us out at Vivace Pizzeria. That's our Instagram. Hey, I'm Shane. We're here with Idle Hour from 1933 Group. We got some canned beverages. We got a nice mix of liquor here. We're doing uh, mules, palomas, mezcal palomas, grape, greyhounds. We got uh, Bloody Marys made with our own house Bloody Mary mix. And we're doing mimosas. Pretty simple, but it's been fun. What's up? Josh here from Good Art. We brought some cool stuff down to this event. Hope you had a chance to check it out. All made here in LA by people who put a lot of love in everything they do. See ya. And we're just here at High Cons of Design today and uh, cooking up some bomb burgers for everybody here. It was a great event, and I hope you guys stop by next time. So, took a team to design and develop these. They're all handcrafted, team of top craftsmen. So Evod Industries, Greg Tada, me, and Drake, the master woodworker, dear friend of ours. And I wanted to award I know I kind of lied and said we had a panel of judges, but we don't. So I want to award this to Mr. Scott Gillen for this epic 37, but it's the vision to find it and make it right. Very nice. Would you explain, give a little story of the car? It's a 36 Roadster. It was original. The guy passed away, gave it to his mom. 
bone stock that we, we got it after a while. It's the lacquer paint's about 45 years old. We chopped it, we lowered it, we put a shifter on the column and we put a flathead in it. Columbia two speed and it's uh we named him Dick Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> but to me it represents a moment of time and design and vision. And yes, it's vintage, but you did a lot of things to it in a contemporary sense, but honoring the design language of the day. So hats off to you, my friend. Thank you. So well played. My friend Brandon Feiner at East Bay Customs built it. We built about, uh, I don't know, four or five cars. He's a very pretty correct guy. And we worked together. He did, he did an amazing job. Well he played. an amazing job. Thank you, baby. Thank you, man. So we got tastemakers, big brands, disruptors, you name it. I'm going to call Nicky more of a disruptor. His design language with this breaks so many molds, but still honors the original aesthetic of the BSAs. And to me, it's the big surprise of the show. So Icons of Design Bike Award goes to Mr. Nicky. Well done, sir. Can we talk about you? You did a great Cohen? job. Uh, can we just fire it up? Yeah, let's fire it up. There you go. Come compete next year. We're gonna have more awards, more classes, and get it rolling. He just finished this literally two days.